how you doing? Today, back here with Phil from the Snowboard Journey. Look what he just got me for my birthday. A Star Trek mouse pad, which I don't actually, I need a mouse pad, so this is perfect, thank you. And speaking of Star Trek, yeah, uh, the whole kapla thing for the new subscribers, thanks for tuning in, but uh, that's what where that comes from. Uh, it's in the Klingon language, it kapla means success, but it's more of like, granting success to your friends who are about to go into battle. So that's why I wish you guys kapla success while you're going out on the mountain to shred it up. I want you to have a successful time out on the mountain, so to speak. So uh, yeah, we the first time that I met Phil at A Basin, I refused to tape with him. It's just not the right situation. It's early in the year, icy run, narrow run, and it's just better to work on turns than try to get some lame footage there. But uh, I said, hey, if you get 30 days on your board, uh, he's got a Don Napton twin, then we will tape again, and hopefully his carving will actually look a lot better than the skidded turns he was making at that point. And I would absolutely say his carving is a hell, his overall whole snowboarding 30 days later is a lot better, and he's been studying my vids and actually going out and working on it, taping some, but also each day purposely not taping and just working on his turns. So let's capture some of those. And, uh, but yeah, first, uh, the board that he bought, Donick had pre-stocked, and they just made, I think, five more of those exact same specs. So 28 centimeters wide and a 157 or 158? 57. Well, 157, and he's on 11 and a half boots. So uh, he was pretty new at snowboarding, but uh, it, you know, if, if you're a, a, that size boot and want to be carving, you know, somewhat deep, then those are pretty good specs, I'd say. If a 150, be, if the board between a 157 to 161 would work for you, my board runs a little longer than other boards of the same length because uh, of the shorter nose and tail. But yeah, check out the uh, check out that if you're interested in one of those boards, or check out the demo at Nationals soon. But if you can't make that, then those those specs are great for a lot of people to be carving hard or if you're carving really hard and got like size 9 boots or something then those would work or if you're on like size 14 boot or something even if you're a beginner then those are, that spec's gonna work because I mean if you're on 14 boots it's, it's not even skidded turns are gonna work too too well because you'll have so much overhang so uh but yeah enough of me blabbing Phil you want to make some turns let's do it cool hey I like it. Those are much cleaner carved turns than anything I saw the, for those first couple times I rode with them. So nice work, Phil. Thank you. Uh, random tips for the viewers. How about uh, you were telling me something on the chairlift? So how about you kick out something about just? Well, uh, I would definitely say what really helped me most was time on the board. Uh, if I was to come up here from the Midwest and only try to ride this type of board two, three days a year, no way would I be able to grasp it. You know, I've got like 30 days on it now. So that's the big one, time yep. on the board. Time on the board, and to, to that I will add actually practicing, like thinking about carving, slowing it down, working on things, rather than training yourself and getting in the habit of high speed skidded turns all day. Um, so yeah, another random tip that I would love to add, and thank you for doing this, Phil, on the steeper part up there. Phil was making these big carved turns back and forth using the whole run. They're a little skidded on the steeper part, but 100% sure he would have been hit by someone had he not looked up and then busted into a stop. Yep. It was, and the person would have, even though he was the downhill skier, the person for sure would have blamed him because he said, oh, you cut me off. And this is the rules for safety out here. 
you, the downhill skier has the right way, but we're taking our own safety into our own hands and avoiding the uphill skier too when we are trying to carve back and forth. So uh, yeah, that was that was awesome to see because there was no chance he took the initiative to not make a collision happen when it would have happened had he not just got on his toe side edge, glanced up, he would have been hit. So uh, yeah, great safety tip there. But yeah, I have some uh, tips for you now. So that's way better turns than 30, 30 days ago on that board. Uh, I would like to see him getting aggressive with trying to dip his back knee into the snow. So uh, I haven't seen him boot out today. I did see him boot out the previous time we rode, uh, just on one single heel side turn in soft snow. But I'd like to see him try to tilt his board more and try to dig his back knee into the snow. So yeah, give that a try too. I've showed that in other videos, but I know for a fact you can get more aggressive with that and all of a sudden get some more action out of your board. So I'm looking forward to seeing his progress in 30 more days yes. from now. And that's the fun part of shredding, I think, you know, just constantly working on things and then you have things to think about and uh, just it's very enjoyable. Very enjoyable knowing you, meeting you. I get to meet a lot of the coolest subscribers ever. So yeah, I'm stoked that he, super stoked that he got this board. If you had to redo, would you repurchase that board? 10 times over. No Love doubt. it. No question. Love it. Woo. So yeah, if you're interested in a board like that, check out, uh, I'll put a link to it in the description, but pre-made ones, 28 centimeters wide, so wider, wide enough to where you're not going to hit your boots nearly as much as something, a normal board width of like 25 or so. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Check out Phil's channel. I'll put a link to one of his original videos with uh, much shittier turns on uh, at the end here. So check that out too. And check out his channel and yes. And three, two, one, kapla. All right. Stickers in the description too. Boom. <laughs> Back